I have got access to the Counter Strike 2 limited beta back in August, so I have been playing the game like an absolute addict for the past few weeks, and I wanted to share some of my takes on CS2 and Source Engine 2 up this point. You guys maybe have noticed that I have been uploading many CS2 videos with commentary, no commentary, clips, etc. And there are a few reasons for that. I have this dream of mine of becoming a global elite player. And I really love Counter Strike since I was a child. Since I was a kid, I fell in love with Half-Life and Valve. I really think Valve is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, game developer company. And how not, if they have this consistent and impressive record of only releasing absolute masterpieces, excluding Artifact, of course, and Ricochet, and Half-Life Source. And I upload whatever the fuck I want on this channel. So here are my takes on Counter-Strike 2 and Source Engine 2. The first thing that came to my mind the moment I launched the limited beta for the first time was how different and somehow awful the menu interface looked. Looks in comparison of CSGO. Make no mistake, I'm not saying CS2 is trash and everyone should uninstall, but there are certainly many things that could do some improvement and the menu UI it's one of them. I really like how the menu looks on CSGO. It's so intuitive and yet so simple. With a huge play button in the upper left corner, you know where to go right away. But in CS2, this was changed for the worst. The play button is no longer a button, but a flat text that says play. And the option is located in a very awkward part of your screen. I really wonder why they decided to make such change. But not everything is bad, of course. Little problems are compensated with how beautiful and good this game runs and feels. The guns feel very nice, the movement is great, the sound quality has been improved a lot with recent patches, and this was one of my initial complaints as the audio used to sound very muffled and wrong. Now the audio design has got a lot better, with sounds like the gunshots and footsteps being a lot crispier and sharp. You will be able to know the direction of an incoming foe by simply paying attention to all of those audio cues that made the Counter Strike formula so unique. Something I can really get that used to are the new tracers. Most of the guns look as if they were shooting laser beams instead of bullets, but that's maybe just me. The fact that you can now see your own body is cool but it definitely does need some tweaking. Sometimes you can see through your textures of your own body and whenever you crouch while looking down you can see some strange shadowing on top of your leg. Overall I really like this detail and I think these problems are not anything that cannot be fixed with future updates. <laughs> The gameplay still retains the greatness from CSGO, and I ain't gonna lie guys, I can really see myself playing more CS2 instead of CSGO from now on. This could truly be the CSGO killer after all, and Valve made it clear that the new Source Engine 2 will make their job easier, ensuring us CS2 enjoyers with plenty of updates for years to come. And speaking about Source Engine 2, the engine runs smoother than my butt cheeks, I can assure you that, but that might as well be the fact that I play on a high-end PC with a 4070Ti and a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, plus 32GB of RAM. I am the kind of CS player who really enjoys playing at maximum graphics settings, so it's very delightful to me seeing the attention to detail put into this game. I haven't experienced not even a single crash during all of my hours playing the limited beta, so for me the experience has been rock solid stable, which for some reason was not the case for Refraction, a gamer I crossed paths with during an ancient match. He said, and I quote, that CS2 had hard crashed his PC. Yo, what kind of potato are you playing on? Dog, I have a fucking 12700K and a 3090. That was all Counter Strike doing that. Terrorists win. Yes. Yes. But that's pretty much all I wanted to share, guys. I don't want to overstay my welcome. 
uh this is pretty much the first time i make a video with a script so i actually wrote a script for this video it might not be perfect but it's honest and i wanted to share some of my takes so please let me know what's your opinion if you liked it or dislike it leave it on the comment section and i see you in the next one goodbye